lethal force is an option, and if that's what it takes, I, I will do it. Schools across the country are trying to find ways to best protect students. One Idaho school district has already had its own protection measures in place for several years. The Lakeland School District is the only district in Idaho to have full-time armed guards as well as school resource officers. Their goal is to have armed coverage at all 11 of their schools, which are spread across Rathdrum, Athol, and Spirit Lake. New at 6, Rania Kaur in studio tonight with their approach to school safety. Nia, the district is currently in the process of hiring their fourth armed guard at an elementary school. The position has been open since April with only a little number of applicants until now. In an emergency, every single second counts. In seconds, save lives. The Lakeland School District covers a large area from Rathroom to Athol. In the case of an emergency, it could take up to 30 minutes for law enforcement to reach a school. Situations start and end much quicker than 30 minutes. The district wants to hire a fourth armed guard to protect an elementary school in Rathdrum. So in case there's ever an emergency, it just takes seconds for an armed guard to respond instead of minutes. So initially, when we first opened it, we didn't get a lot of um, applicants, which I was actually a little bit surprised about. Since Uvalde, we, um, we probably have doubled the number of applicants. All of the armed guards in the Lakeland School District are former law enforcement officers that have been through a thorough vetting process, from a polygraph test to a psych evaluation. All of them are experts at de-escalation. When we hire teachers, we want them fully focused on teaching kids. And when you're somebody now who's been tasked with keeping the school safe, it's hard to your attention's diverted and we want we want the focus on the kids. Mike Hogan is on guard at Athol Elementary School all day. The former New Mexico State Police officer was retired with over two decades of experience. And I thought this might be one the one position I would be willing to come out of retirement for because I knew I could help and do a good job. John Hatcher is always at Lake Lent High School. My first job here is uh, to do whatever it takes to protect the students and staff at the school. And if that means lethal force, I am more than ready to do it. Yep, and I'll catch up with you later today too. But he says their roles are more than the guns they carry. You know, there's social media, there's, there's ways you can pry in and look at things, but the kids are the ones that can tell you what's going on. And that's important. Tim Greenwood's oldest will start at the Lakeland School District next year. We arm and we protect politicians, judges, anybody in authority but then we, sometimes we leave our kids hanging. It makes me feel like the, the men and women of this country are standing up for our kids. The armed guards all have handguns, but also have rifles and safes they have access to. They regularly receive up-to-date training. For more information on their rigorous vetting process to become an armed guard, you can head on over to our website at kxly.com. In studio tonight, I'm Arnie Kaur, 4 News Now.